Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to clear the display cache in Windows 10. So, in the current version of Windows 10, there's actually no clear settings in the modern UI or control panel to clear the display cache. So, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a quick registry modification we can make in order to hopefully resolve the problem you're coming on this tutorial to fix. So, we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-D-I-T, best match to go back to registry editor, right click on that, and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I'd highly suggest you create a backup of it, so if anything ever went wrong, you're welcome to restore it back. So in order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the file tab, select export. Export range should be selected to all, and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. File name, usually I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup, and then select Save. And if you ever need to import it back in, just will left click on File, Tab again, and then select Import, and navigate to the file location, so pretty straightforward. So once you're done with that, now we're ready to get started. So you want to expand the HK Local Machine folder, so either double click on it or left click on a little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Do the same thing now for the System folder. Same thing for the current control set, so right here, double click on that. Should be a control folder in here, expand that one as well. Now it should be something that says graphics drivers, so shouldn't be too far down the list, so just go ahead, expand that one as well. Now there should be three keys under here we want to delete, so the first one should say configuration. You want to right click on that and then select delete. It's going to ask, are you sure you want to permanently delete this key and all of its sub keys? Left click on yes. Next one you want to delete is connectivity. So right underneath of that first one, you want to right click on it, or at least in my case it was right underneath the first one. So you want to right click on that, and then select delete. And again, you want to confirm you're going to delete it, select yes. And the final one you want to delete is scale factors. So right click on that, select delete. Like the other two, you want to select yes as well. Once you're done with that, you can close out of the registry. So I'm just collapsing all these tabs right now. Close out of the registry and that should hopefully be about it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.